it is a sign of our times, and it's a tragic sign of our times, that for all that there has been an increase in knowledge through the web, it has affected the newspaper and news gathering business very negatively. Um, major newspapers around the country no longer have foreign bureaus. They can't afford it. They can't afford it and continue to compete selling newspapers because people go online. But when you go online, you go to your little niche and you don't see what's out there in the world. Mm -hmm. Knowledge has ironically contracted. So I suspect what's the most underreported under story? The most underreported story is, is that we're not getting reporting anymore. Mm -hmm. We don't even know what the underreported stories are because we're just looking at our five screens on the web, mm -hmm. which is why what you do is great. You're trying to see what else is out there, mm -hmm. what might we have missed. Um, I, on my home screen, on my computer, I'm still old-fashioned. I actually <laughs> use a computer, a home screen, not my phone. Um, I have news feeds in French, in Italian, in German, in Hebrew, in Arabic. Um, a, because it's nice, it helps me keep up with the languages. Uh -huh. But B, it's terribly important to see, because inevitably, of those five, say, I also get the BBC, um, I get Al, Al Jazeera in English, because mm -hmm. um, you can get all these in English. What you will see is that they're reporting things that none of the American press is reporting. Of course. And sometimes, if, say, the Italians and the Spanish and the French all think a story is important and, and it hasn't played in America, well, then it's worth looking at. Mm -hmm. So um, the good news is, but you really have to construct your web page properly. Mm -hmm. You can learn these things. But by and large, you, even if you're diligent, you read the paper every day, you watch the news every day, you're going to miss a lot of what's going mm -hmm. on in the world.